just had a little break, although it wasn't really a break. I was quickly cutting out my pajamas. But I thought I'd come on here live um, a bit early and I'll just thread my sewing machine and chat to whoever's there. <laughs> Ugh, my hair. I've had hilarious hair. Um, well, mum and I dyed our hair this weekend because um, I my natural colour is actually this colour. Hello, Gillian. Um, but, uh, oops, I do have, hi, Nessa, but I do have greys. You can see there, didn't cover them very well, did it? So normally I get it done at the hairdressers, as does mum, but we were like, we've got to do something. So we dyed our hair, it was hilarious. It was like being two teenagers, me and mum dyeing our hair together. It was lots of fun. Um, and then after I dyed it, I was like, it could do with a bit of, um, um, it could do with a bit of a fringe cut. What scissors did I use? <laughs> These ones. So, yeah, um, that was rather hilarious. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Vanessa. Um, right, I'm just going to wind my bobbin. Wind my bobbin up. Anyway, I've got it clipped like this now because I have, like, I slept on it really. Maybe it's calmed down. Oh, no, it hasn't slept on it really strangely my fringe and even though I wet that and tried to brush it out I've got this weird thing sticking out the side <laughs> clipping it it is so Alex is here again those of you that are just tuned in for this session and weren't um, on the kids session slightly earlier today hello oh someone sitting in the sunshine with their spinning wheel how lovely um so I'm today oh not fully buttoned up am I um, I am wearing the Farah. Love, love, love um, this Farah. And I haven't worn this, actually. Um, so uh, I haven't worn it beyond the shoot, so it's really nice. <laughs> Hi, Sal. So, yeah, I'm um, very excited to be wearing it because it's finally the temperature that I can wear it. Because um, the other one I wear with boots, but this one... Oh, mind you, we did shoot it with the pink boots, but I don't have them up here. Um, and it's not like I'm wearing shoes at the moment, so. Oh, someone else is doing some cross stitching. All the crafts today. Um, so we're here to do the pyjamas. Now, the slots have changed a bit this week. Um, just, we've sort of condensed them somewhat just so that we make it a little bit more manageable for me and for the team to keep up with them. So um, this slot is now gonna be the kind of easy sewing slot. And sometimes that will be something that's not dress dressmaking or rather it'll be a poppy and jazz thing. And sometimes it'll be a really easy dressmaking project. So that's what this slot is gonna be. And then we'll still have our dressmaking slots, um, but they'll be tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, and sometimes, um, yeah, because to, do, to the, I think it's gonna be quite hard for us to do the elderly top and the pajama bottoms in two sessions. So that's why I thought, well, pajamas are really easy anyway, pajama bottoms, we teach um, them as the short version, but we teach them in our intro to sewing class. So we thought that um, that would be a safe option to have in this easy session. And then you can come and join me and we can finish them together tomorrow and then also start the elderly top tomorrow. So if you wanna get hold of the patterns, you can do. Um, the elderly top was part of Stitch School only, but we've now released them as PDF so you can access them or purchase them separately. Um, but if you're a member of Stitch School, then you get all of them free. So loads of patterns for free. Um, and that's even with the five pound membership, you get the elderly pattern. And then if you're in the premium membership, the 15 pound membership, then you get loads more online classes, loads more patterns and loads of extra help on things like fitting. So um, yeah, that's the Stitch School. And normally it's a three month sign up, but at the moment it is just one month. Alex is linking to the patterns for you though, if you wanna buy them separately as PDFs. I stuck mine together this morning because poor Rosie has been flat out with copy shop printing. So I was not going to be like, send me one. Um, so instead I stuck them together the old fashioned way. Here they are. Da -da -la. Uh, Alex is linking up to Stitch School as well, guys, if you want to um, check out Stitch School. All the um, things you need are generally below. Hi, Kim. Um, so... Just one, <laughs> hi Lorianne, part two of Monday. Um, so just wanted to say um, something about our donations. So 
a lot of you have been watching this um, since the beginning, which is so lovely that you join us all the time. Um, it makes me very happy seeing all your names pop up every day. Um, and I, but I wanted to say a massive thank you to you for your donations because every single donation has uh, counted whether you've bought one donation or you've bought 20 donations of coffee. It's all added up. And I wanted, I know you can't see what we have received so far, but I wanted to let you all know that the donations to date have paid for somebody's salary at work, one of the junior salaries. So that's just amazing. So that means that we have kept somebody in their job this month. Um, so thank you so much to all of you who have donated and some of you have been incredibly generous. You know who you are, we know who you are and we are so grateful. Thank you so much. Um, so we're going to be continuing with these. We really are because we all love them. They're helping our business. They're helping you guys. They're helping me have a purpose. So yeah, they are to be continued. And Alex has just put up a link um, to the donation page if you want to go and buy us a coffee now or at the end, whenever. But thank you. Um, it's it's really heartwarming. So I'm really, really pleased um, with that we've been able to raise so much money to keep us going. Yay! Aw, thanks, Kim. This I love this is the highlight of my day as well. Right, pajamas. So our, our pajamas are sized uh, in extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. So the extra small is eight to ten. Um, and then the small is 10 to 12, then 12 to 14, it goes up like that. So I'm gonna make the small because uh, my measure has been, but not last year. So last year I was a bit too thin. Um, so they're back now to my standard measurements. And I think it's quite good and useful for you guys to know what those are. So my bust is 33 and a half, 33 and a half. My waist is 27 and my hips are 38 and a half. So I generally fall into a size eight on top and a size 10 on the bottom. Now, if it's something like the Betty, then I'd make an eight because it's flared and so the hip measurement doesn't matter. But obviously for trousers, I always would make a 10 and then make alterations to the waist because it's a bit annoying that that waist hip ratio is, is what's the kind of often the hardest thing for fitting in terms of um, for me because I'm quite lucky that I don't have to really fit around the bust area much. It's usually just narrowing through the centre back, adding a bit of length, and uh, yeah, fitting then around my bottom and that sway back. But these are gathered, so that's wonderful. And that's why these make them a really, oh, thank you. Thanks, Pauline. Glad you like the pharaoh. Um, so these are what make um, these pajama buttons a really nice, easy pattern to start with if you're new to dressmaking. One, they're to be made in which is one of the, the easiest fabric to sew with because it irons well, it cuts easily um, and generally it's easy to deal with. Um, but what's great about these is they're baggy, so there's lots of ease, so they're, they're loose, they're not fitting close to you. And the thing that is fitting close to you is elasticated waistband, so you can just fit that really easily. So that's what why we recommend something like this as a beginner project, this or a skirt. And we have done an Ava skirt so long, so if you wanted to have a go at that, you could have a go at that as well. So I am gonna, I've cut all my pieces out, but I'm gonna cut my notches. Um, so in the waistband, we've got the notches here on either side. So when you're cutting a notch, just cut up to the point. You don't need to cut the full triangle out. Okay, I can take that off. I am slightly concerned that I don't have any wide elastic. <laughs> so um, Molly has very kindly said she will try and cut hold of some for me and send it, but who knows what, like on the post, I don't even know if you can get it on Amazon, but I don't know when that will arrive. But um, so I won't be able to actually finish, finish mine until that elastic arrives. Um, but I will still be able to, I guess I could put a ribbon or something through it. One of mum's Christmas ribbons. <laughs> Don't have any good ribbon either, do I? We're all just trying to make do, aren't we? Right, then on my big piece, my big pattern piece, I've got um, my crotch seam at the back, just like a back of a... Um, what size elastic, Lorianne? I think it's an inch, but Alex will verify that, I'm sure, for you. I think uh, we discussed this in our team meeting this morning, and um, Nicole was like, oh, I'll check, but I can't remember whether she said it was right or not. Um, 
So I'm just snipping those in. So yeah, what I was saying is your crotch seam um, has got two notches, just like the back of an armhole would, to indicate that it is the back. You can also tell with trouser pieces what is the back and what is the front by the curve of the seat seam. So um, here, look how, look how kind of, not acute, but what a big curve that is, because that's got to go around your bottom. Whereas that is your front, so it's obviously not got the curve. So um, if you've taken your pattern off and you can't find because of your notches or whatever, you can always compare them like that. Up uh, 1.2, you need 2.5 centimetre elastic. 2.5 centimetres is one inch, Alex, isn't it? Last time I checked. Sounds like an inch would be fine, guys. I don't know if you can get 1.2 elastic. Um, right, I'm just going to take my pins out of this one. So, like we did with the Ultimate Trousers, for those of you that joined in on that. Hi, Mr. Iron. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are going to be doing a lot of zigzagging. I'm oh, sorry, 1.2 metres. Oh, right, I get you. 1.2 metres of um, 2.5 width or an inch wide. Okay, but I guess surely the elastic's slightly different depending. Maybe that's the max amount that you would need. Um, so yes, so what we're going to need to do first is a lot of zigzagging. Um, oh, you made yours in the green and pink rose. Oh, you did shorts, that's nice. Hi, Teresa. Um, so yes. Stop getting distracted, Lisa, because I start one sentence and I don't finish, finish, finish it. Um, so we're going to do zigzagging or overlocking. I'm going to do overlocking, but if you're watching this and you do not have an overlocker, that is absolutely fine. You can do a zigzag stitch. I'll talk you through that in a minute. Let's talk about fabric. So I am using the Busy Blossom Navy, which is one of my cotton lawns. Now, I completely forgot, actually, um, to speak to Molly about inventory. Alex, do you mind if you um, just send a message to Molly about inventory um, for the cotton lawns? Because I'm about to say, oh, and there's lots in stock, but I can't remember if they've looked like they've sold out online. Anyway, I have lots in stock here. Um, I'm just about finishing all those sale orders. But yeah, the cotton lawns are really lovely, but obviously you can use whatever you've got in your stash that's cotton, as long as it's not too heavy. So pyjamas, if you think about them, you want them to be soft and comfortable. Um, and yeah, that's going to be um, the main thing. So cotton lawn is fine as long as it's not too lightweight and it's see-through, I guess. Um, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's pyjamas. But, um, uh, or cotton poplin would probably be the heaviest cotton I'd go, but a lightweight dressmaking cotton is best. Um, so that would is, yeah, we've got quite a few options, I guess, for that. Anyway, I was really excited about making myself a few because my pyjamas are very, like my, I don't like wearing shorts um, pyjamas. I just have a thing about my legs. I don't like my legs. I don't mind my legs in tights, but I don't really like them bare. I don't feel very confident. I think it's my knees I don't like. So I often, you'll see me in the summer, I'll always be covering my knees. So I don't wear shorts um, to bed. I like to wear pants um, and or long nighties. And... Um, so yeah, so I really want to make a load of cotton ones, but uh, lightweight cotton ones, because most of the ones that I've got are a little bit heavier. The maybe brush cotton or so yeah, I was up for making a few. Of course that didn't happen, did it? No, all these plans. So anyway, this is what I'm making mine out of. I'm very excited about having it in this actually. And I've got all the other cottons in my online shop in my bedroom over the um, so I'll be able to um I don't know what am I doing, yeah, I'm to get my overlocker. So I'll be able to make a whole range in the Lisa Comfort <laughs> cotton lawns. Right, we're going to unplug the machine because we don't need him because we're going to be doing the overlocking. Um, and... Hmm, yeah, the overlocking um, or zigzagging. So if you don't have an overlocker, you can zigzag stitch. And um, when you're zigzag stitching, what you need to do is you need to make sure that when the needle goes to the right, so it'll go left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, thank you, Alex. She's linking to the fabrics. Um, so when it goes on to the right, it actually grazes off the edge of that so that it wraps it. 
Also guys, more on fabric, I completely forgot. Um, Molly's gonna update them after her lunch. Thanks Molly. Um, so yeah, check in then. But I have also ordered some more fabrics um, and they should be here, mm, well, I'm hoping they'll hit, be here or be up on the site by Wednesday. Fingers crossed. What am I looking for? That's what I'm looking for. Um, and I've ordered some really lovely cotton lawn. So if you're not into kind of the Lisa Comfort kind of the florally ones, there are some other options coming that are a little bit more graphic-y or there's a gorgeous one which is pink and green palm leaves and I've definitely got my eye on that. Um, oh, thank you. So, uh, yes, more will be coming. I've also, a lot of you bought st the stretch cottons and I'm planning on ordering more stretch cotton. Um, so I just want to get the last few sale orders out and then I'll order more of that. So those of you that missed out on the stretch cotton for the ultimate trousers, I put some of that lemon one aside for myself. Um, then, uh, yeah, you'll be able to have a second chance to getting some. I just need to, my poor parents need to like recover from the deliveries from last week. We sent up stuff from the shop and like, I think there was about eight packages and it caused, uh, caused dramas in the village. People were walking past and be like, do you realize there's lots of stuff on your doorstep? Have, we were worried that you've gone away and you haven't brought it in, but mum's been leaving any deliveries outside for 24 hours, just in case there's germs on them. So <laughs> there was one day I had so many deliveries, they were all just left on the doorstep and they just literally, it was like, you could barely get out of the house. It's a good thing we're on lockdown. You wouldn't be able to get out of our house if, you, if it wasn't. <laughs> Okay, so where are we overlocking? Um, we are going to be overlocking down here, down here, and also in this one, okay, um, which is the, the crotch seam. So we're not going across the top and we're not going across the bottom. I did just see that, Sal, you said about aviators. I've got some Ray-Ban somewhere. I don't know if I've got my aviator star ones here. No, well, certainly not in my sewing area, but I, I don't think I'll have them here with me. Um, how can we get the Farrah? Oh yeah, this boiler suit pattern, guys. It is a PDF pattern. It was out in January. I'm sure Alex will give you a link to it. Um, but yeah, we love it. So overlocking, and I'm going to try and not create an earthquake, and also try and talk over this. So it's a bit of a tedious thing. The main thing when you're doing something like this is that you don't take off the seam allowance because we need that seam allowance um, for when we're sewing them together. I was also thinking about a more classic pyjama top and whether I, because I was going to make obviously this one with the elderly top and then I was thinking what else do we have in our patterns? that you could make a pyjama top out of. And I was thinking if I lengthened Libby. Maybe that would work, what do you think? The Libby blouse. It's kind of got a more, you know, it has got a kind of collar and lapel. I mean, it's not quite a classic pyjama shape, but might be quite cute. Um, okay, one done. Not knowing what I'm doing. Outside leg seam now on this one. Also, don't worry if you overlock past the notches. One thing you can do is if you open the notch a little bit as you're approaching it, it should then stay in that position. So it makes it a bit easier to find. Oh, yeah, you think so, John? Okay. I was thinking that palm tree fabric that I've got my eye on. I was thinking I might maybe treat myself to uh, that to make a Libby and a Libby combo. I am hoping that on Thursdays and Fridays now I will get a chance. Oh yeah, the silk cami. Oh yeah, two of you said that, Tammy and Teresa. Yeah, that's awesome. That would work too. I guess I was kind of trying to think of something with sleeves. That's why I thought, well, short sleeves, so that's why I thought of the Libby. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I was saying something. All right, yes, I'm hoping on Thursdays and Fridays now, I'll get a bit more time. Hi, Jazzy. Hello. Here comes a little monkey, guys. 
Oh, come and give me a cuddle and then we'll go you can go see Tessie. Yeah? Yeah. Come say hi to everyone. Mummy's doing a video. Yeah. Jazzy's got sparkles on today, haven't you? You want to wave hello? No. No. Okay. Do you have a good sleep? Yeah? No. Okay, darling. Well, let's go find Tessie. Mum! Should we go find Tessie? She calls my mum Tessie. Right. Back in a second, guys. Mum? Let's go see where she is. Hello, Susie. Yeah, still alive. Guys, sorry. Someone else to see you as well. <laughs> Poppy. Uh, do you know what? I haven't had a chance to even walk Poppy for about two weeks. I feel awful. Um, Poppy is, uh, yeah, she still gets lots of attention from me. But she doesn't get walks. Dad takes her on walks. He's got more time, so she get a better walk with him. Kofi is coping well with her, uh, with her little bell on her, uh, around her neck now, on her collar. Ding, 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 ding. And we haven't had any birds being caught yet. So please. Yeah. Thanks for all the lovely comments about Jasmine. I agree, of course. I just love how she just gets up and walks through. Just randomly, she's just there. Comes down the stairs, walks through. Hiya, mummy. <laughs> also, how nice is her cardigan? I think it's from H&M. I think that's where I got it from. Um, but I really want one in adult size. I was even thinking, I might look and see if there's like age 11 to 12. And can I squish that on? I'll push them to be like the sleeves will be up here. <sighs> okay, how are we doing? Got another one to go. Or I could sew my own on. I can't go that kind of time, guys. If only. I'm very envious of some of my friends who are kind of, well, friends that don't have children, but who are also, I mean, I'm not envious of them, they've been furloughed and that's obviously a worry, but they're like, oh, it's wonderful, I'm getting all this time, I'm doing all these amazing things that I haven't had a chance to do. I'm like, oh, I've got less time. house is coming along nicely guys as well i don't know if any of you joined in on the uh, tea and a chat yesterday it was hilarious so i was like somebody i was answering questions about the home oh they are they're so lovely and silky these fabrics are so lovely and soft i'm not allowed to pr advertise it but this is the same quality cotton as tana lawn from liberty the guy that i get them printed with he he uh, used to have print with them and he's basically tracked down their factory um where they get their ground cloth from so <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> yeah that's true i might not be making as many things that i thought i'd want but to say i'm making loads aren't i i'm sewing loads all the time <laughs> yeah anyway um the house that's what i was saying oh yeah so the house is um coming along nicely and i was doing this q a yesterday the tea and a chat kind of thing that i do on the lisa comes at home instagram account and uh, I was answering lots of questions about the house. And then suddenly I was talking about the bathroom and then suddenly popped up our builder, the guy that's doing it. And he was like, oh yeah, most of the bathroom is in um, in my porch. <laughs> I was like, oh, Anthony, hi. He was basically tuned in to listen to it. Anyway, I spoke to him this morning. All is going well. They're on a massive cleanup. They've done all the plastering and they're now just tidying up, ready for the other things. Oh, Dad wants the dummy. There you go. Oh, good catch. Um, so, yeah. 
hopefully soon we'll be able to show you things that are more exciting to look at. The only issue, we've already come across some problems, so um, I'm replacing the kitchen cupboard doors that's in the Ikea kitchen. I can't afford to put in a new kitchen. The kitchen's fine, it's so small, there's no point in like There's nothing I could reconfigure it in any way. So I thought they're fine, they just can give them a really good clean, but the cupboard doors are a bit had it. So because it's an Ikea kitchen, I can just get new doors and then I've found someone who can spray them. Um, so I'm gonna go with a very, very pale mint with brass handles. So excited. However, Ikea are not delivering at the moment. So I might be moving back into my house with no cupboard doors. I don't know. It's funny, like last time when I was doing the other house up, that kind of information and news would have just made me so stressed. And now, um, what's someone saying about? Yeah, you could turn the cutting knife off, definitely. You can disengage it. Have a look in your instructions and you can disengage it. Um, and then you wouldn't get this issue of it um, cutting off. Um, what was that saying? Oh, yes. So if that kind of information that we couldn't get the kitchen units delivered, I would have got so stressed. But now, just like, yeah, whatever, you know. Another thing, you know, obviously, you know, the so it helps put things in perspective, basically, doesn't it? Because you just say, oh, well, we'll make do until we can. It's not the end of the world. And that's a really positive thing to think of, isn't it? That it's changing the mindset, our mindset, and then making us think things aren't as bad as we think they are. Or we usually think they are. to lie down guys how many is that two halfway keep going there keep going poppy if only you could sew have i done three one two oh, no, i've done three hi poppy do you want to come back and sit on my lap no i don't know where coco is she's outside in the sun enjoying that glorious spring sunshine So yeah, all the time I'm thinking about my house. And about, I'm, I'm so sad. I'm like, oh, what will I put in that cupboard? And what will I put in that cupboard? Oh, where will I put my towels? And what plants will I have? Very exciting. And I can't afford to do everything that I wanted to do, but it's been really interesting process because I'm still able to do things. I just have to go for cheaper options or think, oh, well, I can't afford to get that painted. Or I'll just do that. Or you know, what can I do to, to make that better? So um, I have really enjoyed the process of, of, of that kind of thing. But, yeah, I'm getting to the point though now, I love being out there. You know, obviously I'm from this part of the world, it's a beautiful the garden, and I'm, I get on very well with mum and dad, and they've been amazing helping with Jasmine. But I am getting to the point now where I just want to be back in my own home. I think that's natural. I've been up here for over a month now, I think. So. This is when it then this is when it's risky when you like when you're overlocking and you go on to autopilot. You have to be careful that you don't hurt yourself. say can someone make me a cup of tea alex can i have a cup of tea i miss that i miss that whole of you know when you're in your workplace and you know you make each other rounds of teas oh hi you made it for the line um yeah um you know and someone's like oh i'm making tea do you want one i miss that i really like that it's like a nice thing people do for each other throughout the day and you don't even realize they're doing a nice thing but having a cup of tea made for you is so nice it tastes so much nicer i don't know why but it does and not that mum and dad don't make tea, but you know, it's getting through the working days here. 
I take Saturdays off, but I work every other day, every other day in the week. And uh, I don't normally, but I do at the moment. And so, you know, they're on looking after Jazzy and there's no one really to make any of us a cup of tea because it's just like, woo, crazy. So could someone send me a virtual cup of tea? Right, bye bye, Mr. Overlocker. See you later. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're doing well. Right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put Mr. Oh, Mr. Iron's not on. Oh, oh. How many times have I whacked myself? In this area, the bruises, guys, the bruises that I must have now. What's not that one? I need that one. <sighs> just putting this on because I like to iron. When I single overlock, I like to iron it flat afterwards. It just releases some of the tension in the thread. Um, and then it's really nice to work with. Otherwise, we're going to be stitching seam into puckers. Oh, thanks, Anessa. <laughs> I'm getting teas, virtual teas sent. <laughs> Don't worry. After this, when I finish this, I always go outside and have a cup of tea. Um, could make a montage of you doing that. That would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Me bashing into stuff. I tell you what, guys, we need to. Alex, we've been saying we're going to do this, but you know what? Maybe now's the time to cheer everyone up on the old so over at Instagram and set up an outtake uh, highlight because the outtakes of photo shoots, I might just start going through one evening, going through our, our folders of all our photo shoots, and there are some hilarious expressions that I pull. And every time, I mean, because I think I don't realise that I've got a very expressive face, and but the photographer who's photographed me quite a few times now does realise this, and so he's always ready to take a shot straight after he's taken the proper shot, because he knows I'll do something stupid. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm now even thirstier now, guys. <laughs> now all those teas have popped up. But, yeah, I'm going to go sit in the garden and have a cup of tea. Oh, my gosh, did I cut myself? No. Oops. Have a cup of tea. Um, before I get on with the rest of the work for the afternoon. I haven't been running. I went running on Friday. I didn't run. I was going to do a long run this weekend, but because I wasn't feeling great, I just thought I probably shouldn't have done it on Friday either. But, um, yeah, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to run today. I'm not going to go on a bike ride. I might do a bike ride tomorrow. That's my plan. That's my plan. Poppy, you're just staring at me. She's just sitting on the floor staring. Right, let's iron that nice and flat. I've trimmed off all of those edges. Even if you have, um, um, even if you've overlocked, I recommend, not overlocked, sorry, zigzagging. Oops, I recommend giving it an iron because it does get a little bit puckered on the single layer of cloth. So it will just get it nice and ready. What is going on here? I need it on cotton. Someday, can you do a sew along with? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Sorry, maybe Alex saw it and she can make a note of what you were saying. Oh. Trying to keep an eye on that screen now. Now, Poppy, no, she doesn't want to play with you. Unfortunately, Jasmine's going through a I don't like Poppy phase. So to keep Poppy protected, I'm trying to make sure that they're not too close to each other at all times. She doesn't hurt her, but she does try to sometimes whack her. No, Poppy, we don't want that, do we, darling? Mm -hmm. I 
filmed another little round the garden with Dad yesterday as well. So we'll be getting that up on, hopefully on Wednesday or around that time on the Lisa Comfort Home. If you enjoyed that last week, seeing Dad talk about what's in the garden, what's coming out. He's going to do it. We've got the same this week. Ooh. Should start a hashtag, shouldn't we? Jessa's garden. He's called Jeremy and we wind him up by calling him Jezza because he doesn't like it. I mean, obviously we normally call him Dad, but even, yeah, all my friends call him Jezza. Not to his face, though. So. Oh, how's Tessa and Jezza? <laughs> Jeremy and Trez. Right. Um, so, what we are going to do is so long to show us what to do with scraps and small pieces. Thank you, Tammy. Okay, yeah, maybe I can tag that on. I was going to do something about um, headscarves, wasn't I? And then I never did. Um, but maybe I can do that and some other bits and bobs. Um, yeah, leave it with me. The seed has been planted in my head, so I shall give it some thought. So what we're going to do now is we are going to stitch our, it doesn't really, well, let's do the inside leg seams actually. Let's do those together first. So you need to take a front and a back leg. You need to obviously make sure you've got the right front and the right back leg so that they're matching. So we're going to place them right sides together. And so this is my front leg and this is my back leg. And I'm placing them right sides together. And I'm going to pin them down the inside leg seam. So if you think, if you see the trousers, arms like that, the curve, that's your inside leg seam. And then your outside leg seam goes all the way up there. But we're going to do inside leg seam on both of them first and then we're going to press those seam allowances open so let's start at the top we always want to start at the top and then pin down towards the hem now you should have notches why don't i just like done there we go notch about here oh poppy she's scratching at the door now I think my dad is about to go outside with Jasmine and she wants to go with them. I'll let you out in a second, Pop It. I'll be going into Dad's allotment. Jasmine's been helping him plant seeds in there. I'm going to check on the progress. The radishes are coming up really quickly. I'll have to show you the allotment as well, won't I? Ooh. Okay. So I did first notches and then went along and did um, the hem. And now I'm just filling them in. And my pins are facing that way. So um, they don't need to be point facing, but horizontal. And I am also um, making sure that I've pinned the right side so that all the fabric will be on the left. And all the fabric, um, and it's open on the right. So the seam allowance for this is the same seam allowance we have for most of our projects. It's 1.5 centimeters or 5 eighths of an inch. And make sure you do a reverse or back stitch at the beginning and then follow your 5 eighths or 1.5 marker on the base of your machine, lining up the raw edges to that and taking your pins out as you get to them. Let me put this on an angle so you can see a bit better. Did anyone watch the um, Global Citizen worldwide concert it, i think they streamed it on amazon and i think highlights were on the bbc last night it was organized by lady gaga and there are musicians all over the world who had like been filming they filmed in their front room or wherever um, and then they obviously sent the music in and it was all edited together it was brilliant it was hilarious there was one guy i can't remember who he was 
but he was doing it in his bedroom and literally me and mum we started watching like uh he hasn't even made his bed and all his washing's on and you like you kept thinking god i bet his mum's just gonna come in or dad and be like make your bed <laughs> oh, Mike, you're going live oh you're going live to global citizen concert is that what it was called i can't remember um yeah you're going live on, on like international streaming and on tv and you couldn't even make your bed <laughs> so that's stitched now okay so i'm gonna do the other one and then we'll do our pressing oh my poor nails they are just so weak it's really good that i'm getting a giving them a break from from my shellac manicures or whatever getting some some vitamin d Mm -hmm. I do miss my red nails though. Oh, Poppish. Now she wants to come in. Just on the notch there. There it is. should explain if there's anyone watching this who's new to dressmaking and I often say and make sure you place them right sides together right sides means the good side the outside side so often a whole of garments are sewn right sides together so that all the messy bit is on the inside and the seams are on the inside I need to remember not to just assume that you understand that oh it's so funny today so um we're having to uh remotely get uh, a new pattern sorted so fortunately I had a discussion with Julie who's doing the pattern before um, the lockdown and so what we did is she made an initial sample and then she sent it to Nicole like a toile and Nicole has a similar, um, similar uh, figure size so she's slightly more petite but she has a fit a similar um, measurements to me she's a similar size there we go getting it out so she did the first 12 fit and then she sent it back to julie who made a few amendments um or she just told julie to tweak those and then i tried it on and they sent it up here and i had to it was basically all open it's dress and it was all open at the back and so i couldn't pin it on myself so i said oh, i went through i thought oh mum will help me i was like oh mum you know can you just pin this and i gave her a tape measure i was like the seam allowance you know explain what that was and that needs to be from uh that needs to be a centimeter and a half all the way down anyway i didn't tell mum how to pin oh uh, you know she was so she basically was overlapping it i mean it was taking her for ages and she was overlapping it and pinning it like that down the back rather than like that yeah and pinning like that Anyway, I was like, Mum, she's like, I just don't know how I can check if it's 1.5. I was like, realise what she's doing. I was like, okay, should we get Dad? He might be better. So then Dad's there. Then literally the two of them are there. Oh, get us our glasses, Lisa. I can't, like, not my parents are elderly, but like they were like, oh, we can't see it. Oh, it's so stressful. Half an hour it took to pin me in. We got there in the end, and I'm very grateful because I don't know how I would have done it without them, but half an hour. Anyway, and mum was like, Lisa, you mustn't ever assume that we understand how to do things. You just like, oh, just pin it. And I was like, yeah, that's true, actually. Why would mum and dad know how to pin an open seam? You know, you do something for so long, you, even if you teach it, you forget some things aren't obvious. Anyway, the dress looked lovely. And uh, yeah, excited about that one coming out. Please stop barking. Okay, we are now going to press the seams open. Um, what's a, what's a daisies? Falling over. 
So, placing it like this on the ironing board, opening it out completely. Now this is the beauty of sewing one inside, the inside leg first and then not doing the um, outside leg straight away because then you can get in and do a really nice press to get this seam really well pressed all the way. <laughs> One done. Let me show you. Okay. Do the next one. Two done, very good. Okay, so we're now going to work with the outside seam, um, outside leg seam. So um, taking one leg at a time. Okay, and then what we do is we're going to put that right, right sides together and we're going to pin this seam down here. So thinking about how you'd have it on the machine with all the fabric on the left and open on the right. So I was thinking as I was setting up for this today, I was thinking the first time I did this, which was what, four weeks ago we started doing these? Or was it three weeks ago? I can't remember. How nervous I was. I was so nervous. Like, I'm a, yeah, I'm self-taught. I'm a combination of self-taught and trained. I didn't do a kind of qualification as such, but I went to London College of Fashion for a year and I also learned it um, in Italy when I was on my Erasmus year. Yeah, I was really nervous about doing this and I don't know why, because I do obviously YouTube videos all the time, but I think it was the live element. I was just worried that, I don't know, the technology wouldn't work or I would freeze and, you know, not be able to do what I normally do. So, yeah, I was thinking, gosh, how far we have come. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people, when they go to fashion college nowadays, they don't. Uh, oh, thank you. They don't um, learn how to sew. I know this is a lot of a lot of emphasis on pattern cutting or design, um, but no, oh, I hit I hit it well. Thank you. No. Oh. Um. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think a lot of people don't really uh, learn how to sew really well until they just start making lots of things either in work or at home for themselves. I think uni doesn't really teach you. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Laurie-Anne. Oh. Um, I skim read, Laurie-Anne. I'm not actually a very fast reader if I read properly. But um, if someone's trying to choose a Netflix film with me or something, they literally, I go so quickly, I like scan, dzz, it's like, yeah, photographic memory kind of like, yeah. I remember Matt always used to say, it's like, this is crazy, I can't, you know, choose something, you're going far too fast, because I'd be like, going through the guide and just reading it all really quickly. I think short, sharp snippets of uh, information I can read very quickly. But if it was a novel or something like that, it would be slow. Because I guess for that, you want to read for read's sake and you want to really enjoy it. Poppy! She's barking outside the door. She asked to go out, didn't she? She went out and now she wants to come back in. What a surprise. Oh, thank you guys all saying lovely things. Thank you. Um, right, so we're going to do the outside leg seam now. How are we doing for time? Ten more minutes of this session. Okay, well let's do our the two outside leg seams. And then tomorrow we can do the crotch seam and add the waistband um, and hem it. Oh, actually, no, can we? Because when we'll have time for the elderly. Ooh, okay, let's just see how far we get. 
Maybe we need to do the crotch seam. That's what we did last time, didn't we? With the um, uh, the ultimate trousers, we got it to the point where we did the crotch seam. So maybe we should do that. Although we don't have to do a zip. Oh, thank you, Sam. Yeah, we don't have to do a zip in this. It's just elasticated waistband. We do have to do buttonholes. That'll be fun. <laughs> doing buttonholes in like every time we used to do buttonholes in classes it'd be like doing a demonstration and the buttonhole would go wrong and it's like how am I meant to give confidence to these new people learning to sew if this machine won't do a proper buttonhole anyway my Benina generally does do good buttonholes but I'm not going to say that guys because tomorrow it might go all tipsy-turvy mightn't it but I have a practice before I go live Yeah, um, Jan, I'm doing it like this because I'm left-handed. That's why I take them out the left like that. So I pin left-handed and I take them out left-handed. But yeah, it will look funny for you. You'll be do it. You'll probably do this, won't you? And you'll probably have your pin dish here. And I always have it out here. Okay. Almost is done. And now we'll go on to the next one. Starting at the top. So am I. Ah, oh, just wondering that. Ooh. <laughs> Lefties. I got really excited because I thought Jasmine was a lefty. Not that, you know, right-handed right people are fine, but I just thought, oh, another lefty. But, uh, no. I think left-handed people tend to be quite creative, they say. But my uncle's left-handed. I wouldn't say he's a... Uh, He's um, creative. Oh, we've got loads of lefties. Yay. Oh, oh it's raining in South Carolina. Yes, that's true. But do you know what? Us left-handed people, we are flexible, aren't we? And actually, often we're quite ambidextrous. I cut with my right hand. Don't know why, but I do. Um, and yeah, but it, I always used to get annoyed by, by notebooks. No, not by notebooks, by folders. You, know, you used to write with folders. Oh, ambidextrous cell. I think when you write with folders at school and you had like your work in there, like the writing pads, and you'd always kind of like get your stuff in the way. Um, and I, I, I always kind of, I write like that, I don't do that, because I know some left-handed people, you've got that issue of smudging it, but um, yeah, I write like that. But yeah, a right-handed right person can just keep their thing like that, can't they? Yeah. Oh, you couldn't tell, watch her kick a ball. Well, when she kicks a ball, I got really excited because I thought she was left-footed. So I don't know, maybe then, then maybe she is. And then Dad's been playing football with her and he's like, she, she's basically like David Beckham. She's got a great left foot and a right foot. So we will see. Whatever she hears, it doesn't really matter. Oops, a daisies. And there we go. Right, let's quickly whiz along those seams and press them open and then we'll do the crotch seam together. I'll just turn it so you can see what I'm doing. Now what we want to do now is need to be careful that we don't put crease lines in. Oh, do you remember that when people, I mean sorry if anyone does this now and I'm offending anyone, but crease lines in jeans. You know when people iron jeans and they put a crease line there? Not a good look in my opinion. Jeans are not meant to have front creases. So, Nora pyjamas. But fortunately, they're quite wide, so it's not too tricky to do this. Are you on? Oh no, you're not even on. Bob, I've been a little sleep there, weren't you? <laughs> Again. Up 
Honey, whiny, honey, whiny. Oopla. And then let's do this one. So people starting to think about Eve dresses and the fabric they're going to be uh, making their eaves out of. I'm going to try and make one out of our wildflower, um, the wildflower black before next week. So I've got one to wear in the sew along. Um, and then I have ordered some other fabrics for making one with you guys. But um, yeah, I'm excited about having them. So all my dresses are in storage. So I've only got a Heidi dress, like a maxi long sleeve Heidi dress here, really. Um, so I'm excited about having a little summer dress. Not that I'd feel like wearing it quite yet, but you know, it has, we have had some very warm days. Okay, right. Da, da, da. Right, where are we? Here we are. So what we're gonna do is we are going to turn one through like that. And then we are going to pop him, he's going to spoon the other leg. Snug as a bug in there. Oh. Um, got a little loose thing there. Mm. Mm. Got myself in a pickle there. No, I haven't. It's fine. So what we're doing is we're joining the two uh, seams at the crotch so make sure that those inside leg seams line up and then you want to put the pins in so that you're keeping that pressed open and then yes it's cotton lawn it's my cotton lawn it's the busy blossom navy and you can get it from our website um cotton lawn is a great fabric for pajamas it's lovely and soft can you wash the pots too? Good housewife. Uh, I am a terrible cook. I am not a good housewife. Um, okay. So, when will we be shipping to the US again? Probably when I'm back in London. Because then I'll probably run the online shop from the shop because I'll be able to go into the shop by myself and it'd be easier for us to do that. Um, so that's in May at some point. Um, so yeah, I will, we will let you know. I'm sorry guys that we're not shipping at the moment. It's just confusing, but yeah, it's complicated, but we, we will as soon as I can. So yeah, we'll, I'll be going back. I'll hopefully be back in London in mid May. You can't order now because unfortunately we've got no space to keep things. So because we're not, we're basically doing it out of our houses or my house. So I'm just worried that it will get lost. But if you're wanting to, don't worry, I've got lots of this. So um, there should still be some left. And I feel like what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, buy in a lot of the other fabrics again, just for you guys. So you can have a little international fabric sale so that you guys can get hold of some of the fabrics I've been talking about. So I know that's really annoying that you haven't been able to. Uh, crotch seam, stop a crotch seam from splitting. You need to stitch it twice. So you stitch it regularly and then in the kind of main curve bit, go over it again. And that will strengthen it. So I am sorry, I'm, as always, I've just started sewing <laughs> without telling you what I'm doing. Oops. So what I'm doing is I'm sewing one side of the crotch and then I'm going to go down and sew the other one. Although I've not pinned it correctly, have I? So I'm going to sew up to the, um, that seam there. The seam allowance is 1.5 centimetres and then I'm going to sew down on the other side. And the reason why I was doing two sections is because then if you get any dragging, um, then you don't end up with a discrepancy at one side and not the other side. Um, it's always just good to sew down into the same direction from both sides. 
So again, one five eighths of an inch or 1.5 centimeters. Make sure my stays pressed open. Got some pins under there still. Um, and then meet that little reverse so the two stitch lines meet. And then trimmy, trim, trim. And then that's what that's what it will look like. So that curve you've done. You hold it like that. And then We'll press that open before we turn them through. So we're just going to press the seams. I've turned it off again. Yeah. I had it on for the whole of the first part of the class when we didn't actually need it. And then just keep turning it off. So you're not going to be able to get in very easily further down. But certainly it's important that it's pressed open here. Because that will be on show. Oops. There we go. Got it open. I'm going to press that nice and open and flat. I've got some tail threads there. I need to whip off. Oops. Mm. And then the same on this side. Oops, I also forgot my threads there. Sloppy, Lisa, sloppy. Not cutting your threads off. Um, that's what my uh, teacher would have said in Italy. I was learning dressmaking and tailoring. Oh, she was tough. Right. <clears throat> she was also wonderfully glamorous. I loved how glamorous she was for our sewing classes. Um, okay, so we're pulling that out. We're pulling that out. And you essentially now will have something that resembles trousers. Now they look really baggy, but remember they're going to be gathered up here, yeah? There we go. Um, so that's where we want to get to for today. And then tomorrow we'll be doing buttonholes and sorting out our waistband and doing our hem and then making a start on our elderly. So if you're sewing along with me, make sure you've cut that out. We'll be doing very little. We'll probably just be putting bus starts into it or something. But um, I just want to make sure that we've got lots of time to do that bias finding. Right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Thanks to Alex for answering all your questions. Um, thanks again for all those wonderful donations. And as I said at the start of the video, um, this past month, we have managed to pay for one of the team's salary, for the junior salary. So um, that's amazing. Um, that's, yeah, a real achievement. So thank you so much for supporting us. And we will continue to do lots of these because we are all enjoying doing them. Um, okay, link to the elderly top's gone up. Pajamas, the link is in the description box below. Um, cotton lawns as well, you can get hold of those. Um, and yeah, I'll get going with those. Make sure I'll check now where those fabrics are for the other bits and bobs that I'd ordered for Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Bye.